next speaker, and I hope I get a pronounce his name right, but it's Ephraim Molo Kane, um, who's from South Africa. And a, Ephraim was born in 1976 in one of the townships in south of Johannesburg in Katlehom. And I hope that's pronounced right as well. But Ephraim has overcome many challenges in his life to date. But he is now a board member of the Down Syndrome Association of South Africa and chairs the self the self advocacy movement in South Africa as well. He's now permanently employed as a sports coach in a college locally here. So I would call upon Ephraim to come up and address the audience and talk to us. Thank you. So happy all, all, all over the place they're coming here to visit and to host the conference for Down syndrome. My name is Ifrai Moshakani. Um, I'm living in South Africa, I'm staying here in South Africa. I want to share the story, but I don't know the chief can just give me a little bit of time. Uh, my story is very sad, but when I grow up, it was difficult for me. Uh, after my, my, my father, he spoke to my mom, and my father, he knows, uh, my, my mommy said to my father, Ash, I think if I'm has got a, a, a problem learning at the school and my father decided to run away from me. And when I grow up, it was it very difficult. It's very difficult to be growing without your, your dad. But my mom is very strong. I'm the man today, I can stand up for myself because of my mom, and I thanks for it. Uh, when we use our, our own language, Africa, Kase Sutubari, Msadi Utswara Tipa, Kamobo Hali, Bayo. It's like my mother, he never ran away from me. And then he told me, if I will help you, I will go. Whatever is going, it's going to be difficult for you at school, I will help you. I went to school, a normal school. And then they found my problem because I, I never finished the school. I want to finish the school. I want to come as a lawyer or a doctor or somebody, but it was difficult for me. So I learned one thing. People they are different, people they're not the same. And their life is like that. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm part of Special Olympics. I'm part of Down syndrome. Vanessa Dos Santos. I take my cap, put my cap down. I respect that lady. Uh, he told me if I'm, when I met Vanessa, I think it was 2003, Dublin, Island, when I went for Special Olympics World to Winter Games, Summer Games. I was the global messenger for Africa. Normal Special Olympics, what they do, they choose 12. 12 people, different countries. I was one of them. And what Special Olympics they do, you travel all over the world, you speak to the people, we're trying to change a, 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 a attitude from community. Because people, they don't have a disability. When they see a guy, a people who got disability or a dancing one, 
it's like the nothing to them. So Special Olympics also, they changed my life to travel all over the world and deal with different attitudes from community and learn a lot of things from them. Today, where I'm standing here, I'm the leader for Down syndrome. I'm the leader for people that got intellectual disability. No one can tell the people that got disability that they, they can't do anything. No, there's nothing like that. Forget about disability, disability focus about ability, what you can do. What I see since uh, I travel all over the places, check different uh, normal people. No, normal people, I think they think they are normal, but they're not. <laughs> Those who are the big problem. <laughs> the people that have disability, really, whatever you give to them, they appreciate. And always, they got respect for everyone. And when you see disability, uh, uh, the people that got disability, you don't treat them bad. And don't think the brain, they're not working. They are working. They check everything, what you do to them. I think all over the world, we got a big problem. They abuse a lot of people that got intellectual disability and they take advantage. But today, we stop those things. It's enough. Whatever way I'm going, I see uh, people that got intellectual disability. I spoke to the community, try to respect these people. When you see them, don't think they are useless, they can't do anything. No, there's nothing like that. They can work. They can do whatever you're asking them. But also don't forget to give them respect. Respect comes first, no matter what. You can have, no more you can have degree, you can have whatever papers. But if you don't have respect, you're nothing wrong. You must respect other people. I'm going to tell you something about myself. Today I'm a married man. I've got my own family. I've got my own son. I've got my wife. I'm living independent. I've got my own place. No one come to me. I to, to, to control my life now. So, what I want to change, I think, I know it's a long process, it's a lot, it, it needs a lot of work, but I can do that. Where I am today, all of the people that got intellectual disability also, I want to change that, they can change their, their life. They, they, they must come as an independent. They must stand up for themselves. They can get married. They can get the job. They can do whatever they want. There's no one can stop them. That's why I say, take disability, put it away. Forget about disability. Focus about disability. What you can do. Change other people's life. Think for other people. Don't think for... Because normal, uh, actual, a lot of people, they're normal. They just think for themselves. As long as I've got a job, I've got my, the kids, I've got the house, I've got everything, why I have to worry about other people that got disability? No, it's wrong. Life is not like that. You need to respect other people. So, they also, Down syndrome, intellectual disability, they've got power, but they can't do anything without your support. They need support. They will show you what they can do, really. Who I am today, where I'm standing, no one can point finger to me and say, if I am. what is your disability? No. 
people they don't understand. Some of the people they don't understand actually what is disability. Actual, when I'm saying to you, I never finish the school. I don't have metric. It's sad for me, but it's the way I am. And I'm proud because I'm living normal life like everyone. So my next dream, I will make sure some of the people, they got, those people they got intellectual disability, they, they must learn also to stand up for themselves. But they need your support. When you see, when you see them, you mustn't feel shame and sorrow for them. No. Life is like that. People, they are different. People, they are not the same. Don't think when you feel shame for them, you know, it's like you're teaching them. No, you're not teaching them. You must give When you see them, you must give them a, a, a respect. Speak to them nice. Share everything with them. Show them, you know, this thing, they're talking about disability, take it away, put it somewhere else, and then focus, look, what you can do to change his life. It's not difficult. That's why I said to you, I don't need my lady today. I'm the man. I can stand up for myself, and I'm called my child. And I'm not like my father, he ran away from me as soon. My son will go nice in front of me. I will make sure my son, I will give him that love my daddy never gave to me. I'm proud about my son. And one more about my son, what I want to tell you, he's attending a private school where I'm working now, and he's doing well at school. I'm very happy. It's only God knows. So I'm very proud myself. I grow up, it was difficult for me. And also Chris from Ireland also I salute him. Because that place where I am, Emlet Foundation, they told me if I you're not allowed to get the job because you don't have a metric, you don't have education. And I was young and it was so difficult for me to understand what they're trying to say to me. But Vanessa and Chris, they changed my life. They come to me, they say, if you don't need to be here, you can't get the job, you can't change your life. I said to Vanessa, Vanessa, you know what? I don't want to lose my grant because I'm supporting my family about that money. So if I won't make it in this job, well, I don't know, it's, it's going to be difficult for me. And then Chrissy said, no, you can prove the world. You can show them, you can do it. Where I am today, I don't need that grant. I'm independent, I'm working, I'm getting a good salary. It's nice to get a job. It's nice to stand up for yourself. It's very nice. It's very difficult when somebody has to feed you every day. It's difficult because one day when that person is used to feed you, it's not that way who's going to look after you. So you must stand up yourself, look after yourself. That's why I'm saying to you, disability people, they can do a lot of things. They can stand up for themselves. Just they need the support. So I'm so happy. I'm glad today. And I'm not shy.